Hi, how are you? I'm good. Actually, I'm very good. Okay, we're here at Dr. Wagoda's office and we're just going to ask you a few questions. Uh, we did a video last week, the day after the surgery, and mm -hmm. this is just a follow-up video. Um, so tell us again, when was your surgery and what did you have done? Um, I had breast augmentation and it was done a week ago um, Wednesday. It was done on Wednesday the 13th. Today's Wednesday the 20th. Okay, and you came in today, and what did you have done today? Today I had um, the suture removed, and I'm just new tape put back on it, and just the follow-up part of it. Okay, did it did it hurt to take out the stitches? No, no, no. There hasn't been any pain for this. There's been some soreness, discomfort, but this literally was not painful experience at all. I have had no limitations with driving, doing my hair, doing my makeup. Um, it's, I've, the only thing I have to remind myself is not to lift anything because I don't feel limited. Okay. So your surgery was on Wednesday. When did you go back to work? I went back to work, um, on Monday the 18th. Okay. Could you have gone back to work sooner? I could have gone back to work on Friday. I just didn't want to go back to work. <laughs> Okay, and the pain pills, when did you stop taking those? I stopped taking the pain medication um, Saturday, um, but I didn't take them, you know, like every four every four hours the first two days, and then after that it was in the evening at night just because sleeping was a little different. So, um, but I stopped that on Saturday. And raising your arms hasn't been a problem. Raising my arms is awesome. So you showed some people that you know at work or friends that you can raise your arms up and what did they think? They were um, floored. Um, a couple of co-workers have sisters that had breast augmentation and had to be driven around, had to be helped with getting dressed, getting their hair done, couldn't lift their arms for a month and it was just very painful. Again, I don't, I have to remind myself that I still have to be limited because I don't, you know, I'm just not supposed to lift because there's just so much freedom of movement. So your sister also had the surgery uh, many years back, same size implants, and how was her experience? Actually, two of your sisters. Yeah, both my sisters. They were both um, done by a doctor in Daytona Beach, um, very good person, but they did not, theirs were a lot more painful. They had um, a, a more downtime than I did in the, in the sense that their husbands helped them get dressed and things like that. My older sister, especially, um, when she went to lift her arms the next day, her quote was, I was going to shoot him. Um, so it's definitely was, um, this was a markedly different experience for me, both of which they're very surprised about. Okay. Um, so if you had anybody interested in, in, in having surgery, what would you tell them? I would tell them absolutely hands down. I was the biggest skeptic about the whole pain-free thing. Um, I am a firm believer. I am a true believer that this is a pain-free process. There is some discomfort, but there's it's not pain. There's a big difference between the two, and I would advocate for this for anybody who wants breast augmentation to do this because the other ones are horrific. The other ones are like people are suffering, and there's no need for it. There's absolutely no need for it. And besides the not having pain, how do they look to you so far? They look awesome. I'm very pleased. You know, i got to keep my hands off them. And I'll just, let them walk around. Did you notice any bruising? Mm, just very, 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 very minimal. And it was only for a couple of days, and then it started to fade away. It was, you can't even, you wouldn't even know that I had surgery if you didn't, you know, know, know beforehand. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.